In 1988, John Gotti's friend and Gambino soldier, Anthony Schurti Mascuzio, was gunned down while shaking down a nightclub. Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organized crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the time when a civilian shot and killed John Gotti's pal, Gambino soldier, Anthony Mascuzio. And don't forget, for bonus videos and content, sign up to OC Shorts on Patreon for just $3.50 per month. To support the channel, click on the link in the comments below. On Friday, June the 17th, 1988, the body of 43-year-old Gambino soldier, Anthony Shorty Mascuccio, was found shot to death in the basement office of the Bedrocks Discotheque, situated at 316 West 49th Street. Anthony Mascuccio had a police record dating back to the 1960s. As one newspaper reported, Mascuccio was convicted of a minor gambling charge in 1967 and served a year in jail for a 1973 weapons conviction and another 30 months for bribery in 1979. As a Gambino soldier, he would serve as one of John Gotti's drivers and was friends with Gotti from back when the Dapper Don was known by the nickname Black John. Mob historian Tom Jones states that Gotti paid Mascuzio $500 a week to be his driver and bodyguard. Anthony Shorty Mascuzio was described as solid, tough and violent. The Gambino family soldier allegedly owned an Italian deli called the Gelato Cafe, which was situated on Court Street in the Cobble Hill section of Brooklyn. During John Gotti's trial in 1987, Mascuzio was seen overseeing the delivery of sandwiches and appetizers to the vast crowds who gathered outside the courthouse. Upon John Gotti's acquittal at that trial, Mascuzio was photographed shaking hands with the Dapper Don as they made their way to a waiting car. Anthony Shorty Mascuzio lived in Brooklyn. As one source stated, Mascuzio, who lived on Warren Street in Brooklyn, wielded power in Cobble Hill and Carroll Gardens from a social club near Court and Sackett Streets until a few years ago, when he moved to a Henry Street location a few doors from N. Camareri and Sons Bakery, a key setting in the film Moonstruck. He's been shaking down the stores on Court Street for years, said one source. As well as extorting local businesses, it is said that Shorty Mascuzio was involved in the pornography business, illegal bookmaking and loan sharking. So, how did Anthony Mascuzio end up getting killed and who shot him? The Bedrocks Disco on West 49th Street was majority owned by a man called David Fisher. Fisher's real name was Al Roth. A DJ who worked at the nightclub recalls how Fisher had one day been visited by John Gotti's guys as they muscled their way into extorting Fisher, leaving the owner sat in a pool of sweat. From that day on, Fisher would pay the Gambino family on a regular basis. As one newspaper reported, sources said Mascuccio made regular visits to Bedrocks to extort money. And so, on the 17th of June 1988, Shorty Mascuccio would visit Fisher at the Bedrocks nightclub for what would be his final time. It was reported, He arrived after midnight Friday with another man and went immediately to a basement office for a payday with Fisher. The Gambinos were receiving money from Fisher and his partners over a period of time, a well-placed police source told the Daily News. Whether they jacked the price up or whether the owners simply decided not to pay any more, we don't know. Mascuccio and his partner pistol-whipped Fisher's face bloody when he balked at paying, the sources said. At 2.36am, patrons on the upstairs dance floor heard two muffled shots. As stated, Anthony Mascuccio was pistol-whipping David Fisher, allegedly with a 32 caliber handgun, when Fisher decided to defend himself, pulling out his own gun. Another report would state, Mascuccio hit Fisher on the head, and the club owner fired his 38 caliber Colt Cobra twice, striking Mascuccio in the right jaw 
and in the body. Someone heard the shots and called the police. A club employee went to the basement but could not open the door to the business office. When police arrived, they forced open the door and found Mascuzio lying on the floor, his back to the door. He was dead and the 38 was beside him. Fisher, 53, was unconscious and was taken to Bellevue. Initially, the 53-year-old David Fisher was charged with second-degree manslaughter as he lay in hospital recovering from head bruises and facial injuries. But ultimately, the charges were dropped. Anthony Shorty Mascuzio's funeral was held in Brooklyn on Monday, the 20th of June, 1988, with John Gotti and other Gambino mobsters in attendance. John Gotti seen in this photo arriving at his friend's funeral. As for David Fisher, it appears that there was no retaliation from John Gotti or any of the Gambino family. Fisher was still running the nightclub two years later in 1990, when he assaulted a city inspector who was visiting the club. As one newspaper reported, a four-page complaint against Bedrock's owner David Fisher charges he punched out city inspector John Grudy on May the 27th, after Grudy turned down Fisher's offer of a free bottle of champagne and began writing out club violations. After Fisher slugged Grudy twice in the jaw, three Bedrock's bouncers choked and pummeled him, chased him outside to his car, where they broke his gear shift and stole his attaché case, according to the complaint. The Bedrock's nightclub shut down later that year. In 1992, it was reported that David Fisher had committed suicide at the age of 56. One source stated, The sorry story of club owner David Fisher ended last month when the Bedrock's owner committed suicide just before he was to go on trial on arson and assault charges, reports Performance magazine. Fisher, 56, made headlines in 1988 when he shot and killed Anthony J. Shorty Mascuzio, a member of John Gotti's Inner Circle, at the West 49th Street Disco. Shorty Mascuzio's son, also called Anthony, would follow his father into a life of crime. In 2011, he was arrested and convicted of selling marijuana allegedly for the Gambino family. Anthony Mascuzio Jr. also has connections with the Genovese crime family. His father-in-law is Genovese soldier, Stephen Mad Dog Arena, and then, in 2016, was arrested for stealing over $20 million worth of cash and valuables from several banks that year. The 38-year-old Anthony Mascuzio was looking at 13 years in prison, but received a seven-year sentence. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.